Hi, my name is Billy Schoenberg and I'm a developer with IC Systems. And today what I'd like to do is show you how to quickly and easily build a model using Stellar Modeler for the iPad. So here we are, we're on the My Models screen, um, which gives me a listing of all of the models on my device. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the plus button in the upper right hand portion of the screen, which starts us off with the ability to create a model. So here I'm going to enter in a model name and I'm going to call it Savings Account. And uh, I now have the ability to control the start time and the stop time, uh, the time steps of how often uh, the model calculates, the time units, um, in this case, uh, let's use months, uh, as well as uh, the simulation speed. When I'm done with setting up all of those settings, I hit the Done button, which launches me into uh, the Canvas mode. So now on the bottom left hand portion of the screen you'll notice that I have a toolbar which allows me to create all the elements that we're familiar with. So we're going to start by building a model of a simple savings account. So let's use um, a stock to represent the account. So to create a stock what I do is I press the rectangle button on the far bottom left hand portion of the screen and then I tap onto uh, the device which then opens up the keyboard and highlights the name so that I can enter in a name. So this is going to be my count balance. Now, what we want to do is change our count balance over time. So the way that we change stocks is using a flow. And since our account balance um, can increase or decrease, we want to use a flow which can either add value to the stock or remove value from the stock. So in that case, we want to use what's known as a buy flow. To do that, what we do is we press and hold on the flow icon, which is right next to the stock icon, and it brings up this little menu which allows us to choose the type of flow that we want to create, uniflow or biflow. I choose the biflow, and then I press and hold on the screen, keeping my finger down on the screen, moving my finger across the screen up until the cloud is on top of the stock, and I let go, and it connects the flow to the stock, I mean, you can tell that because there's no longer a cloud on that end. And now what we can do is we can enter in a name for this flow. So this is going to be the net change. So next, what we want to do is we want to set up um, you know, a growth rate within our account uh, and an interest rate, per se. So let's uh, put down a converter, which is the circle icon from the bottom left. So we tap once and then tap again on the canvas. And then we get to name it. And now we've set up all of our variables. Now what we want to do is connect them all together in order to create a simulating model. We do that using a connector. The connector is right next to the converter and we tap it. We press and hold inside of the account balance, keeping our finger down on the screen. We're able to then redirect the flow of the arrow and we want uh, the connector to connect from the account balance to the net change. So the way that you know, we calculate interest, of course, is uh, however much money is in the account multiplied by the interest rate. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the connector from the interest rate to the net change. So let's grab the connector again and draw a second connector from the uh, interest rate to net change. And I'm just going to move uh, the interest rate. There we go. And so now what we want to do is we want to double tap on elements to start defining equations. So let's start with our account balance. We double tap, it opens up the editor, and let's say we start out with a thousand dollars in our account. So we entered in a thousand into the account balance, and in the units we're going to enter in a unit of dollars. So when I go back from the equation editor by using the back button on the upper left hand portion of the screen, Screen, you can now see that I have these warning symbols in uh, the elements which I've yet to define. So let's go ahead and define those elements. So let's double tap on the net change to bring up the equation editor, which already has the units pre-filled for us in dollars per month. And then what we're going to want to do for the net change is we're going to take the uh, count balance and we're going to multiply it by the interest rate. Let's go back to our model and now enter in a value for the interest rate. In this case, let's say the interest rate is 2%. And the units for this is going to be um, 1 per year. Well, per month, excuse me. It's per month. 
So now we've set up our model, and what we're able to do is using the simulate button in the upper right hand portion of the screen, switch into simulate mode, which then allows us to hit the run button, which produces results over time. We can then explore these results by pinching to zoom, which will bring up more detail on the graphs, or by tapping on any element to bring up a detailed graph, sliding our finger across the graph to see values at specific points in time, or we can use the slider bar at the bottom of the page to reveal results and to scrub through results over time. 